Hello, my name is Michel, and I will walk you through troubleshooting the RIPE Atlas Probe version 5. We will look at basic troubleshooting steps, probe LED lights, power issues, and connectivity issues. But first, I would like to help you to get to know the probe a bit better. The version 5 probe has one Ethernet connector, one USB micro connector, and one LED. The LED on the version 5 probe shows whether the unit is receiving power. It turns on about 10 seconds after the unit is powered. LED is also used to indicate operation. It will turn on after the unit is powered off and will start blinking regularly to indicate that the connection with RIPE Atlas has been established. If you see this, your probe is working. This may take a few minutes. The most common issue that we see with hardware probes is power issues. If the probe does not receive enough power, it may behave unpredictably. This can happen even after it's been running for a long time. If you have problems, one simple step you can take is to replace the USB cable and the adapter. This will rule out power issues. You will need at least a 10 watt USB power adapter for the version 5 probe to work. If your probe is still not working, verify that you can visit atlas.ripe.net with the browser on your phone or computer using the same network. If this does not work, repeat the same test by using the mobile network on your phone or tablet. This will rule out problems with reaching RIPE Atlas. Verify that the LEDs next to the network connector are on and blinking. These will be off when there is no network connection. If this does not solve anything, swap the network cable for a new one and repeat these tests. If your probe still does not work, look up its probe identifier on the bottom of the unit. Next, go to atlas.ripe.net with your browser, click on probes and anchors, then on probes. Click on login to see more, then on mine after you've logged in. Find the probe with your probe ID and click on it. Click on status beta to see that your unit is connected. Lastly, click on network, then locate the connection history by scrolling down to see the first row still indicates still connected. Scroll down even further to the SOS history to verify that the probe does not have a malfunction. I hope that I've helped to resolve your issue with the RIPE Atlas probe. As always, we are ready to support you if you have any problems. Please contact us at atlas.ripe.net. At